Homemade Homeschooler here and today we're going to be talking all about the enrichment activities that I use to coordinate with Masterbook's Life Science for Beginners. Now this curriculum is broken up into three sections. The first section is plants and seeds. The second section is the human body and the third section is animals. So all three of these topics my second grader was really interested in and each section I'm going to show you the different coordinating activities that I did to really bring this science program to life and make it memorable and fun and engaging for my second grader. So let's get started. So the first thing that I have is we started a garden. Now I know it sounds a little tedious, especially if it's not something that you're used to like me. I posted a lot about this on my Instagram and it's the handmade homeschooler on Instagram as well. And we, what we did was because I didn't have all the tools and the, and really the know how to do it. We started off easy. We just started a container garden. And if you Google container garden, it will come up with tons of ideas on how to make this super, super simple. Now, all I did was I just gathered some pots and we got some seeds. We got some at the dollar store. We got some, um, from Amazon. I got a bag of like little wildflower seeds because I heard they grow super fast and I got some sunflower seeds because I just like sunflowers. And we started this little garden project out back because what better way to start off a seed and nature and um, plant unit than to actually plant the seeds themselves. So he got to plant the seeds, water the seeds every day, and now he's really seeing them grow and shoot up. So that was super fun and it's something that he has really enjoyed doing. So the second thing that I did, I'm going to be reaching over here to grab materials, so sorry about that. The second thing that we did was Magic School Bus books. Okay, so Magic School Bus is great for science. Check them, if, especially if you're a Christian homeschool family, check the material before you, you buy it. But so far everything that I have used has been great. We are using the plants and seeds and the inside of a beehive book. Now, when you start something like flowers and plants, it's just natural to kind of go into bees and beehives. So we bought both of these books. I bought them for, I think, two or three dollars on thrift books. And then I also bought on iTunes the coordinating episodes. So we've read the material in the books and we also watched the episodes and now Magic School Bus is actually one of his favorite shows and he actually wants to watch it. So it's great and he learned a whole lot about these different subjects that were started in his, um, in his science book. Now, the third thing that we started was something that was brand new to me. And as an elementary school teacher, this was not something that I had ever done before. We started nature journaling. Now, I know a lot of you probably have already heard of it and you're probably like, how, how have you never heard of it? I haven't. <laughs> So I wanted to get all the materials that I could to explain to me what is nature journaling, how do I go about this, and how do I make it fun and engaging for my child. So I bought these two books. I got Keeping a Nature Journal by Claire Walker Leslie, and I also got her Coordinating Drawn to Nature book. So the difference between these two books, this one is really just what a nature journal is, how you use it, the basics on keeping a nature journal which was great for me because I had no idea how to do this. Now, the second book that I got though, this was the most helpful for me for somebody who is brand new to nature journaling. This is excerpts from all of her nature journals. Everything from clouds to butterflies and plants and seeds and birds and trees and all kinds of beautiful things, her drawings are in here. Now this was actually the most helpful book for my child because he is one of those kids that just has a hard time coming up with ideas. Once he has an idea, he can run wild with it. But just coming up with that idea, he just kind of gets stuck. It's the same thing with writing and I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. They need an idea to write about or to make or to draw. So this was great getting him started and now he really doesn't even need this, you know, several months later because now he's just like, oh, I see this and I want to draw this. But this was a great, great, great way to springboard him into nature journaling. And as far as journals themselves, I have used both of these. This is the one that he uses now, which is just a, um, a blank notebook on Amazon. I think you get like three or four of them for under $10. 
and this is the one he started with which is just a nature notebook from the good and the beautiful I really liked how the good and the beautiful did this one um, I don't have much from the good and the beautiful but the nature journals I heard were really great so I went ahead and I got them it was definitely a good buy it, I haven't seen anything like this and they just have really pretty pictures and things to coordinate with his nature journaling okay so the fourth thing that I have was a coordinating morning basket. So I have a video on my channel that is dedicated to our insect morning basket. It's almost natural, just like the bees. You're just gonna go into things like that. My child already really likes insects, so this whole unit kind of just neatly came together. I bought a bunch of books off thrift, thrift books, excuse me, and we got different activities and things like that. You guys can see that on my channel as well, and I'll try to remember to link it down below too. Now the last thing that I have is this really great favorite poems book. I had such a hard time, you guys, trying to find a poem book that I really liked. This one though, oh, it is so great. They are very old, classic, just beautifully written poems and they are broken up into subjects. And I wanna show you that the, the area that we used for this unit was a section called From the Good Earth Growing. And they have this section here all the way to the middle of this section. And they are just beautifully written. And the illustrations are really, really great. I bought this, it was on Amazon, I believe. Um, there are some pictures in it. And it is, it, it's just, it's a very, vintage type of book and my son really likes stuff like this he likes older books he likes older stories and it's just this was great and it had a whole section so we could read a poem you know once every couple of days or however much he wanted to read all at once so this was great and it, it introduced poetry so in this between the poems between the morning basket, the nature journaling, the magic school bus, books and episodes, and starting a garden. Not only did he get hands-on activities, he got art from the nature journaling. He had real life experience by growing real things into the ground. He got visual aids from the magic school bus, video and audio, and a lot of kids learn. They're, video, they're audio and visual learners. And then we got to add in poetry too. So this was a great way to add in all of those elements and even really just art from nature journaling, art from nature journaling and, you know, more hands on real life experience. So when you look at curriculum like this, use it as a launching pad to teach other things and to coordinate with it. There are so many different activities that you can find if you really start digging and thinking and putting your mind to how can I make this come to life for my child? You will find that they really take to different activities, just like I had no idea my child would love gardening, but now it's one of his favorite activities. So you will find that your child loves different things. So this did not take very long to put together and this was the first section. The next section is the human body and we have just started it this week. He is in love with it and I will show you guys in another video, probably in a couple months after we finish this, um, this section all the different activities we've been doing with the human body so if you like this make sure you subscribe give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down below and if you have any activities that you like to coordinate also if you are a handmade business owner like I am check out the free class that I have down below from my personal business coach that helped me launch my hobby into a full-time career I will see you guys next time have a great week Bye.